yummy yummy guys what's up um today as you can see this is the xbox 360 dashboard for android okay so currently i'm on the android lollipop that is 5.1 on an infinix x510 that is the infinix hot 2 okay so um let me quickly connect my game pad to my mobile device okay so we're on and guys check this out okay so when i go to um okay as you can see the game pad is moving so i go to settings and i'm gonna go to controller settings okay to give my game pad full access so i choose the keyboard and i choose the game keyboard yeah now I'm good to go. So O for back. Yes, it worked. Okay. So now, as you can see, this is the Xbox 360 layout. Okay. So I go to music, and you see my music. You see collection, search and stop. Yes, yeah, so the collection will launch um the music player up and to see all your music files and stuff. This is a music player that i customly installed on a mobile device yeah here it is um it's kind of not selecting yeah it worked so from here yeah you gotta press back select it yeah okay so um let me go to games session as everybody will be willing to see the place okay and you see every selection changes the button <laughs> Okay, you can set custom backgrounds to whatever um, screen you want. Yeah, but a home screen is pretty dope, as you can see. And let me go to social. That's my avatar. Yes, my Xbox avatar. So you launch Xbox Live, and there you can customize your um, avatar and all those stuff. And this is a widget. The avatar standing there is a widget. So when you tap on it, definitely it's going to launch the Xbox Live. Yeah, so you can customize your avatar and everything. And when you come back home, it's going to change. Definitely, it's going to change. So this is my social apps. Yeah, you can get your Twitter, your Skype, your WhatsApp, um, your phone for calls and your Xbox Live. Okay, so you've got friends that you play games with and other stuff. So yeah, you go to apps session. And this is your applications you installed in your phone. Okay, so everything that you pinned on the screen probably won't appear here. Okay, so these are the pins. Yeah, these are the stars I pinned on the screen, and the end gonna show when I tap on the applications because they're already here. So you can launch them from here. Yeah. Okay. So now when you go to the home screen and check this out, you can see my pins. Yeah, you can pin apps, videos, contacts, everything on your phone that you feel useful and stuff that you mostly use. Yeah, so you can pin other stuff here too. And let's go to video session. And as you can see, the guy that's called a below that Godwin and all those stuff. So when I actually the widget can't be controlled with the gamepad because it's probably gonna be buggy when trying to control widgets with a gamepad yeah so as you can see they don't get selected so you must use your hand to touch okay so I'm gonna select um Godwin and check this out yes start over it's not by your power as you can see it's playing you to escape, okay. you think that is your victory it's okay it's okay you need an on one knee by yeah, you press back and you get back. And when you tap on the Mongo Park or on um, Romantic, it's definitely gonna play. Okay. So don't spin your own. No, you no. <laughs> don't spin it. Okay. Back. Yeah. So now let's go to music session. Okay, music. And from here, as you can see, the widget, it have a Demi Lovato heart attack. When I tap on it, it's gonna play, but I'm not gonna do much because the videos even show more. Okay, so now 
there are a bunch of styles to show okay so let me go to settings now settings this system over here launches the system settings yeah so you can see that place also is being controlled by the gamepad in fact everything on the phone is being controlled by the gamepad when you tap Wi-Fi it's gonna take you to Wi-Fi yeah Bluetooth does the same thing yeah okay display settings sound settings and beats audio <laughs> that's serious when I connect my headset to my mobile device it launch up on top yeah and check this out check the system UI it's having a pretty dope interface yeah so as you can see and the recent apps let me check the one too for you guys go to home and I go to recent yeah as you can see all these styles yeah that's it everything on this phone can be controlled with the gamepad yeah and when I gonna go up it just switches up so when you see the screen that you want to work with you see it's blinking top X is gonna launch it okay settings and X okay and I gotta touch it okay so guys press back and then go back to your home screen I'm sorry okay as it yeah so these are the stuffs you can scroll through with your finger yeah and in a game session um, games tap on games this is gonna show all the games you installed on your mobile device yeah as you can see BIA3 FIFA 14, GTA San Andreas, Relic Run, and Sage Guns, Subway Shuffers, Temple Run, and all those styles. It's kind of cool. And the boot animation is pretty awesome. It's in landscape. Yeah, so I gotta tweak my device into landscape mode to make everything work fine. Yeah. So if you want this build, you can contact me. And don't forget to send a like. Yeah. Okay, let me show you something about the gamepad. It's the ordinary USB gamepad. I'm using Ucom, but you can use the Xbox 360 gamepad. So this is a Ucom gamepad. It's actually having a USB port. Yeah, and I connect it to my PC. you guys probably see that <laughs> Android Xbox 360 okay so model number you see Infinix X510 Android version Xbox 360 see you guys in another video